Hey, thanks for dropping by Can't Let Her Die DIY. If you found this video, you found this channel, you must have an F-150. That's what this is, 2013 F-150. is What is it, nine years old now? Uh, 176,000 kilometers on it. And guess what? The heat cut out on me. It's Canada, it's January, and I got no heat. I'm freezing driving this thing. So I gotta get this fixed. There's no option. And the snow's coming down, I got no time either. So I gotta get this in the garage, warmer up, and see what the heck is going on with the heat. Come join me, this is gonna be a good one. So like I said, I have no heat. And that's for sure. Now what is the reason? Well, it could be a thermostat. It could be the temperature blend door actuator. It could be the temperature blend door. It could be one of those three. Now we're underneath the hood right now. We're going to rule out the thermostat. I don't think it's a thermostat. You know why? Because the engine, I've been driving around in this condition of no heat in the cab, watching the temperature gauge. And the engine warms up normally and goes right to operating temperature. It does not go any hotter, it does not go any colder. So the thermostat is working for the engine. It is cooling the engine when it re requires it, and it is warming the engine when it requires it. So it's opening and closing perfectly normal. Also, we've got hot water going into the heating core and hot water coming out to the heating core. You can feel these two pipes and they're both hot. So there's hot water, hot coolant getting to the heating core. So that means it must be inside the cab. The temperature blend door is stuck closed or open or the temperature blend door actuator is blown and it's not moving the door accordingly. So it's stuck in the cold temperature, letting the cold air in. It's not mixing it with the warm air. So that, so that concludes our this part of the engine. We can close the hood on that, and let's go into the cab, because that's where the action is. You got this, because you don't need many tools to do this job. It's surprisingly few tools you'll need. Come over here, I'll show you. So you'll need a quarter inch drive or, or a quarter inch ratcheting drive, one or the other. In this video I use both. I do use an extender on that drive. Uh, you may be able to get away without it, but I used it. You'll need a 7 millimeter socket for sure and an 8 millimeter socket. You'll also need this as well, box wrench, 8 millimeters. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. This is a magnetic pointer. <laughs> Go the other way. And a couple other screwdrivers, flats for prying. Uh, you'll, this is the unit that you need. We'll be replacing. This is the temperature blend door actuator, and that's the part number, the box it comes with. I used the doorman. There's the part number. If you want to zoom in on that. Okay, you are sitting in the passenger seat. This is the dash of the 2013 F-150, 3.5 liter eco boost and we have um, an issue with the blend door or the temperature blend door actuator we have no heat uh, we've ruled out the thermostat and the problem is located in here so if you, if you turn the key on one one click it'll pow put power to the dash here and uh, You can see that we have uh, we have the blower. We can uh, we can change how the air is coming out here, like through the up here. You can hit that. You can go to the to the floor and to the vents here. So you can, and you can hear that door. The doors in there opening and closing, directing this the air in different areas. So that is working. So this is working, but when you go from cold to cold to hot, I don't hear anything moving. Now this is the temperature setting, right? So when I change the temperature setting, the, the temperature blend door actuator is a, little, is a motor in here that's supposed to 
move the door and, and provide more hot air in this setting. And I do not hear anything going. I do not hear the door moving. I do not hear the motor. Um, I do not hear the motor, the actuator, trying to move the door. So either the motor has no power and the motor is gone, so, which is what I think is happening, or there's no door in there. The door is totally disintegrated, but I don't think that is the issue. Because uh, if the door is stuck, then you often hear a clicking sound as the actuator is struggling to try to move the blend door. We don't hear anything. I stuck my head in there, can't hear a thing. When I go from here back to there, there's nothing. So it's like the motor has stopped working. So we need to get to the motor. Good news is it is located up here. Bad news is it is located behind this and this and this. So we have to take off some of this dash to get to it. So that is our mission. We're going deep into the dash, deep in through here. We're trying to get these parts off without breaking them. And uh, you may have a similar issue and you may want to follow along. So let's get going. It isn't going to fix itself. We got this. We got this. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to remove this, this black section that has all the controls and the, the radio and that sort of thing. So to remove this, we have to remove this gray plastic part. So. It just says snap on tabs down here. There's one there, right? That comes off easy. And this one's a little tougher, but it, it just snaps off like that. And then this piece here, that goes up there, has two screws in it. It kind of holds it on over there on that side. But I think we got enough of it off, right? That we can access this this bolt down here and this bolt down here. So we'll try those. Okay, with your seven millimeter, start uh, getting these little guys out of there. Okay, we got two at the bottom. There's one right in there at the top. Let's get that. That looks like seven millimeters. And it's pretty well as far as I can bend this plastic, but I should be able to get to it. Try not to break any of these plastic pieces. It is coming. It is good. Let's see if I can do it this way. Jam that in there. Give a little more room. Sort of like that. three. Three on that side. There is one right there, but I don't think we need to get that one off. Let's go to the other side. See what challenges we have for us over here. Pull on this at the bottom. It snaps out. And does it snap any further? Like the other piece. 
Okay, we got to get this gray piece off, this gray plastic panel piece, so that we can get it attack a bolt up here, seven millimeter bolt there, and two down here. Well, we can get we can get those two easily, but there's one that's underneath here, and this is difficult to get out. I can bend it a little bit, but I don't want to anymore, and I'll break it. I did see the bolt up there, so we're going to have to. There's a tab that goes underneath this panel that covers the airbag and I believe there's a bolt right there but that's stopping us from getting this gray piece right off so we have to remove this to get this off to get this off see the game Ford has his playing here anyway to get this off we can go in through the glove compartment like this and uh look up in there very nice it's quite clean in there looks like if you get a screwdriver in there gently without marring it up this will pull out a little bit see that it just snaps in there the cover Bag cover. Well, if we work this, maybe we can get this out. Far enough. Oh, yeah. See that? further there it is there's the screw we're looking for so if we jam our screwdriver in there hold that open sorta like that that I think I can get it okay by prying a little bit with a screwdriver like that I should be able to get in there just like that get on to that and I am that's the hard screw to get now be nice to get it so we don't lose it There, baby, we got it. Okay, that's the tough one. So I never did undo the screws underneath. I could pull this out half an inch and it allows me to get in there. It's not bent up, so I think it'll go right back. That's good. So now we'll continue to get, oh yeah, this wants to come right off. got a wire holding wire plug can you get in there holding that but we can just leave that on there like that okay so we got that off just one bolt this one holding that in right there underneath this the rest is just tabs you pull out so now we can access these two seven millimeters and this one and then goal number one objective number one we get this off it's getting exciting the 
Let's go to town. So once you break these free, then it's easier just to do this. See that? Where did that go? Anyway, we're going in there. So it fell down in there. Don't do that. Don't drop those screws. We'll find it when we take this apart. screws right here and right here looks to be seven millimeters attack those hopefully the last two holding this in and now can we get this off uh-oh seems solid to me Tabs holding it in now. Uh, there. It's still pretty tight, but it just snaps in. It's kind of scary because it feels like you're breaking stuff. Pull this out there, and there it is. Removed without breaking anything, and that just goes on to that just hooks on there like that. Right, and those screws hold that in place. So we can remove that, let that fall down. Give us some room. Plug here that we have to remove at the top, which is hard to do because you got to do it kind of blind because I can't even see it. Okay, I was able to get it off, but I had a a ten minute wrestle in the in the dark trying to figure out how to get this connector plug off of the uh, disconnected. You could, can't really see it. You can't get your head in behind the panel there. So anyway, for you guys, if you're in here, there is a little tab right there on the side. So I was feeling here. Couldn't feel a tab. Couldn't feel a tab on that side. None on doing this. And then I noticed that little tab right there. Pull that in and she'll pull out. So that's different. And this one, not the same. Just to keep you guessing, the tab is down there. That's more of a traditional one there. But uh, you can't see that very well either. But you really cannot see this. You can't get your head in. It only gives you an inch. So now you know, the tab's right there. So you got to be patient with those. And uh, so you don't break them. And now we got this panel totally off without breaking it. Which is nice. We can set that right up there. Uh, we'll put it over here where it won't fall down and break. Okay. And now we have the music center, the radio, the CD player. 
and that all comes out with these three seven meter four eight eight seven millimeter bolts and there's my missing one see that so if you lose it remember I said I'd find it I got a magnetic pointer here and it's worth its weight in gold there okay moving right along you got this Got them. All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Okay. We can put that aside, because there's where we need to be, I believe, down in there. This one right here may get it. We do the trick. And voila. And we can just let that work itself down there. And there right there right there is the blend door actuator blend door is down in this box inside that box there and that turns the door one way or the other whether you want hot air or cold air and it gives you medium room temperature air by blending the hot air and the cold air so regulates the temperature that way according to what you set the dial to and that's what I believe is has failed I hope I'm right because I spent a lot of time just to get to it just to see it anyway it is lunchtime good time to take a lunch break I'm starved slide that tab back that red tab I think and then uh, so this plug has a red locking tab on the top you slide that tab back can you see that Locking tab right there. You slide that back in that direction and then squeeze on the top, pull it out. Okay, there's two screws one there, and one in behind there. You can reach your hand up through the glove compartment, up through here, to be able to. Feel that one right there where my finger is. We'll get those off next. Eight millimeter. Get this sucker off. I'm on it. 
come on. Oh, is that ever in a tough spot? Uh, it is coming though. hands eight inch box wrench from through the glove compartment I think I got it loose enough and then pop straight up is still on there. There it is. It's in a tough spot, I tell you. He has a couple more rotations and it should be out of there. Brutally tough spot. And, yeah. You can get it though. I can get it, you can get it, we can all get it. part that turns the door inside of here in this housing the blend door which blends more of the hot air into your cab that's it that is what we think is the failed part okay we got the part right here that I just removed it goes installed like that that's defective no longer working and the replacement part by Dorman, it looks to be uh, very similar in all respects. This, this is Ford's blend door actuator. This failed after 176,000 kilometers, nine years. We don't like it. We do not like this part. This is, I've been freezing my bejeebies off ever since for a couple of months, ever since this failed. Not good. We don't like it. It's destined. You guessed it, for the dump. Oh, whoa. Do I still got eyebrows? Reach up through the gold compartment here, find our plug, and... We got the four-way flashers on here. <laughs> I got that plugged in, ready to go. There. there. I got that 
plugged in. Let's bring her around into position. So, it appears like it's working, because when I do this, every time I turn it one graduation, it goes, Arrgh, Yep, sounds like it's working. We're going with it. And they're shutting all the way off. We're going back to its set position. So there it is. It appears to be working. I'll put the screws in it now, I'll put everything back together. And then we'll have this thing pumping out hot air, baby. Hot air. I put in the first screw there. Now we're going to put all the screws back and put everything back in the way we took it off. So you don't need to see that, but we'll test the system and see if it's working in the end. I finished the job yesterday, I put the truck out, and uh, we got hit with a good foot of snow. So it's the big test today. Do I have heat? Let's check it out. Is it enough heat to thaw this baby out? I don't know. Twenty minutes later, and it's all nice and toasty in here. It is beautiful. Melted the windshield screen. Uh, the snow is melting on the outside there. The uh, the dash went in quite easily. It all snapped right back into place. No scratches. Right here where I was prying it with the screwdrivers, perfect. Uh, all this went in. Uh, looks just with the way it was when we started. So you can do this. This is not hard. It uh, it's a long time and all that, but. Uh, it's, it's not hard to do, and uh, the dealership, they wanted over $1,000 to do this job, and that part cost me $36. That's it. $36. So, uh, you got this. You do. And uh, hopefully I save you a little bit of money on this video, and uh, hopefully that's your problem. And remember, the blend door can be stuck in the hot position, so you do not have air conditioning. It can be stuck in either way. My situation is stuck pumping out cold air, but yours could be stuck pumping out hot air and have no AC, no cold. So it can go either way. That's it, guys. It's great having you along here. It's been fun. I got a lot of snow to play in now. I'm taking for a spin. You got this. You do.